Welcome to Insight, produced in partnership with KLCS in Los Angeles. Today we are chatting with Dr. David Baca, Chief of Schools of the Los Angeles Unified School District. David has generously agreed to share some of his experience with us. I'd like to thank you, David, for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here representing Los Angeles Unified. So you are the Chief of Schools. Tell us what a Chief of Schools does. So uh, our district right now, Los Angeles Unified, is divided into six regional or local districts, we call them. And my job as chief of schools is to, is to support our local districts. We have six local district superintendents. So my job is to convene them together, um, analyze uh, their individual and our collective plans for improving our district and to monitor progress and support them with corresponding actions. Today, we're in that place of analyzing data, looking at um, looking at last year, looking to this year, um, really carefully thinking about um, where we're at and where we might go. So let me uh, begin by uh, sharing some celebrations. So first, in looking at all measures of data, um, Los Angeles Unified, everywhere we were, where we wanted to go up, graduation rates uh, reaching an all-time high of 78 plus percent. Um, our state proficiency tests going up in ELA and math at all grade levels um, and in all parts of the district, our different local districts that I spoke to earlier. So we begin by looking at um, what's working well, what are our strengths, and last year, is, as I think everyone knows, for Los Angeles Unified was an incredibly tough year. Um, despite that, um, we saw gains. Um, we also saw gains in reclassification rates, which is the measure of whether or not our English learners become fully English proficient. Um, that rate rose to north of 23%, the highest the, since the state started monitoring that data. And the things that we wanted to go down went down. Suspension rates, chronic absenteeism, um, we're in a good place. Um, at the same time, we're not satisfied. And we know uh, opportunity and achievement gaps exist. And our job is to really uh, dig into uh, that data. So we disaggregate the data, of course, look by subgroup, um, look at different uh, ethnicities, whether or not um, students are English learners, students with disabilities, everywhere, every way you can dice and slice the data, which schools um, are, at, are performing at a high level and still went up, which schools are performing at a high level and went down, um, all of those different pieces to put together some really thoughtful action plans um, that represent um, a strategy that'll really work here in Los Angeles Unified. So let's get beyond the, that, that uh, comforting statement and let's talk about the, the areas where you're going to focus, where you're just not doing well enough for the kids here and the areas where you really do need to concentrate. What would you select as, as an area that, that does require concentrated focus, where you don't have it all locked down, you don't have a plan, yet you're, you're developing uh, plans, you're bringing people together. Even there, there might be challenges because people might have different views. Um, where do you see those, those issues uh, coming? Our superintendent, Austin Butner, his priorities and pillars really for 2019-20, there are four of them. Uh, the first is achievement. Of course, that's what we do with graduation really being that ultimate measure and making sure all students are prepared for college, career, and life. Right. The next priority is equity. And I think that, that really speaks to your question. Um, which students aren't making it? What are the implications for how we resource schools? Um, the third is organizational sustainability. Um, as we think of, you know, the financial state of the district, as we think of enrollment, what are ways we can rethink that? And it brings us to some really um, real conversations. If we look at New York City schools, um, they're funded $29,000, the schools and districts um, receive for each student. In Los Angeles, the number is 16,000. 29,000 versus 16,000. And I've already outlined the needs that we have here in Los Angeles. When you think about um, what that looks like over the span of a K-12 students journey over 13 years, 13,000, 13 years, it gets us to $169,000 for each student. It means each student in Los Angeles Unified could at some point in their K-12 career when they need it most, have their own teacher. That 169,000 would cover that and their own TA. 
So imagine going back to this whole idea of this need for personalization, and I say that to be illustrative, not that that would be a strategy to utilize that money, but imagine what that could do. So this organizational sustainability, this funding piece is huge. So you have the whole issue of graduation rates and yep. having come off of a really great statistical uh, analysis that shows very, very good progress in there. There's a sustainability issue mm -hmm. and there is a money issue. How do we deal with that? I mean, is this just a matter of California looking itself in the mirror, Los Angeles County looking itself in the mirror and saying, if we are going to solve some of these issues, we have to actually invest more on a per child basis. So your question is really rhetorical. <laughs> Absolutely. And it does involve uh, several different mirrors. Um, number one, we need to see changes at the state level, now at the also, local level. And, and also, we can't wait. We can't wait for that to happen. We have to do the very best with what we do have today. With that 16K, that's never going to be enough. It's always going to be challenging given that. But that's really um, our job as a school district to do the very best with what we have. So that's an important point. You don't use the deficiency of funds as an excuse to stymie action. You can't. To throw up, because you can't, because that child, the next day the sun comes up, they have to be yeah. able to go to school. And you have to do the best you possibly can. And so, it's, it's every single educator in our system has to do the best he or she can. Right. It's our teachers, it's our principals, it's you know our bus drivers, our uh, custodians. Um, more funding is needed in several different areas, and yet, um, people show up every single day, go above and beyond the call of duty, and our, our data is moving in the right direction. Again, across every single metric. So we are doing more with less, and we see that, but it is not enough, and our students deserve more. So what other uh, kinds of changes do you expect to uh, implement over the next years or explore? The answers, those innovations, are in the district. Yes. We believe that our teachers, that our principals, that our leaders have the answers, and we need to invest them and beyond, right? The, the old adage, it takes a village, our community partners, we need, need to invest people in Los Angeles Unified. We believe that, but we believe that um, that talent is inside the district, and this is predicated, this approach is predicated upon that as well. You're also taking a different approach than the study first, write a report, discuss it interminably, plan, replan, think about it, replan again, and then do. You're changing that. You're basically, instead of doing the, the study then do, you're doing the uh, study and do, do and study. Um, Neither comes first, it's a chicken and egg kind of thing. You're, you're, you're going right in there. Um, there is some planning that, that takes place, but you are going to create a feedback loop in the process of implementation. And the feedback loop, of course, starts even with any planning um, in Los Angeles Unified. That's absolutely part of it. So in talking to our neighborhoods, our communities, and in some cases, as you mentioned, all the different cities and municipalities that we serve, in some cases talking to um, some of these individual neighborhoods, they're telling us this is what we wanted all along. We wanted something that felt like it was connected to the neighborhood. We wanted something where our local schools were grouped together. Um, so we're seeing incredibly promising feedback really on the, the planning and the organizing principles of keeping our schools geographically bound, right. connected to the community, and partnering with everybody there. If you go to small town America um, and it's Friday night, you may be going to a football game. And going to that football game means not only that you're invested in that high school, you may have gone to the, that high school, mind you, 30 years ago and still be going to the football game, but you're invested in the school district. And here in Los Angeles, again, um, we're seeing at least some signs, for some of the reasons you mentioned, right. um, of disconnection. So how do we get folks connected? Um, our neighborhood councils, we have robust neighborhood councils in Los Angeles. How do we make sure each of those are connected to our schools? Um, so this idea of connection comes up again and again. Talk about the philosophy that the LAUSD has in terms of working together 
with other partners that can provide other types of services uh, throughout the school district. It, it, it does require a, a certain management and you do have certain standards. How does that unfold and, and what is the thinking uh, in the management ranks of, in terms of partner, partnering with such organizations? Firstly, something our superintendent is absolutely committed to is increasing those partnership opportunities. So recently we created a new partnerships and grants office um, at our central office to help streamline some of our processes and make it easier for outside agencies to partner with our school district to provide needed services. Um, as we discussed before, the need for all different kinds of wraparound services, enrichment activities to our students, the need is certainly there. So that's something we're working to to engage more partners to be able to partner with us. So the superintendent is creating a, an office to make LAUSD easier to do business with. Exactly. How does uh, LA, uh, the LA Unified School District uh, cultivate talent within its ranks and afford uh, opportunity to teachers, to administrators, um, to, to evolve their careers and, and uh, also refresh and repot periodically? And so we see capacity building as critical um, for folks to continually develop their own skill set, but also to be able to respond to changing needs. Our teachers, the, the needs of the students they have in front of them changes, and they need to be up to date with the uh, best ways to respond. Um, also, things continually change uh, both from the federal and state level. For example, um, our our state standards in English language arts and math, what folks used to refer to as common core standards, we now call California content standards. They shift the way we teach, what we teach, and of course the uh, corresponding assessments, our state summative assessments, we refer to them, but our state proficiency tests change in ways that have implications for our instruction around what um, preparedness, what proficiency looks like. So we need to constantly be uh, sharpening our saw and making sure we're as up to date as possible. And that's at all levels of the system. So of course the implications for our principals, being a principal is uh, the toughest job out there right now. Our principals of our schools, particularly in Los Angeles Unified, our principals need to be able to respond to a multitude of different issues. The breadth of their responsibilities and the depth um, are seemingly never ending. So we are rethinking the way we're preparing our principals, um, how we're building capacity at different levels. We have our own internal uh, administrator, both assistant principal and principal preparation programs. Um, so we're looking at continually bolstering those, making sure the learning is as relevant as possible and, and all the way up. Well, Dr. David Baca, thank you so much for sharing a small part, a small part of your work at the Los Angeles Unified School District. And thank you so much for your insights. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.